All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is What Dollar General Doesn't Want You to Know. Uh, this is coming from the channel More Perfect Union. Let's check it out. Uh, guys, uh, really quickly, when it comes to Dollar General, uh, Dollar Generals tend to be in areas that are extremely underserved, let's say. Uh, on average, I'd say. The majority of their gigantic uh, <laughs> the ownership base, let's say, is in places where there's nothing else there. Um, it sounds like this may be some type of hit piece on the company, but we're going to go ahead and actually dig into it and see what this is about. Um, but all I, all I do know, at least, regarding this topic is there are places where there are literal food deserts, right? Um, where they don't have anything except a Dollar General. Like, the only company that will go to these places is, in fact, a Dollar General. Right? No, no Kroger, no Publix, no, no Walmart. Guys, there's nothing there. But let's see what this takes us, guys. I've begun to really see Dollar General as like a criminal organization. You're stealing oh. from my community. And I think they're very aware of it. It's a classic bait and switch. Somebody at the top is making a lot of money. Go for a drive in any American county, and you'll likely soon pass by the yellow and black lettering of a Dollar General. Drive a little further, and another will appear. Then another, then another. Here's the other Dollar General store. It's seven miles from the last Dollar General store we were at. Okay. With nearly 20,000 Dollar General stores in 48 states, the Tennessee-based discount chain has sunk its teeth into lower income, rural and suburban areas everywhere. It's e yeah, yeah, definitely. Easy to look at the dollar stores and think, they are a sign of economic distress or a symptom of economic distress. But they generally are. Like if you are someone who invests in any type of real estate, you'll understand the what 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 the proximity of a dollar general specifically or family dollar actually means. Right? I mean, you're you're entering into a place that is um, most likely going to lose you money. What we found is that they're in fact a cause of it. Underneath Dollar General's really? so-called low everyday prices in convenient locations lies a sinister business model and a massive scandal that hardly anybody knows about. The Let's fact go. that we have to sue a company to get them to tell the truth is absurd in my mind to begin with. Texana. My name is Lori Hartline. Okay. I am Hello, a Dollar Lori. General shopper out of convenience in my neighborhood. All right. What you see here is when you travel, you'll go from looking for a grocery store, and before you get one, you have $3 general options. See? And that's all you have. Right. In May of 2022, Lori Hartline started noticing some seemingly harmless discrepancies while shopping at her local Dollar General. When they opened up in, I think it was 2021, their price of my kitty litter was eight ninety five. dollars Great. I purchased it all the time. I didn't pay attention. I go up there, I check out, I leave. Well, one day, wait a minute, $10? I noticed it. I mm -hmm. asked him about it. Oh no, they've raised the price. Well, that doesn't say it on the shelf. Well, they just have to change it. It's, it's in the computer, it's not on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Next week, go in and buy cat litter. Same mm -hmm. thing. All right, if, hopefully this is not the only issue. Um, you're asking a lot from people that make minimum wage. Uh, a lot of these people are there working. Um, should they be changing the stickers? Absolutely. Uh, do they have to do, do they have anything to do with what's happening in the computer? No. Please believe that's happening remotely, right? Um, there's someone, I'm guessing, in the headquarters in Tennessee that are, that's changing the price before the people that are working here actually have the ability to do it. And when you complained and said, this is cheaper on the shelf than it is on the computer, they didn't really care, right? Um, this is not indicative so far of, of, of a criminal organization, but so far at least. That is not what the price says on the shelf. What am I doing wrong here? I mean, the, the company's still wrong. I was wrong. watching the news one morning and heard about Dollar General in the state of Ohio was being sued for deceptive pricing. Oh, well, I may change things. That is what happens to me. I knew I wasn't crazy. I know it's just not me. 
After months of repeatedly being overcharged by Dollar General, Lori wrote a letter to the Oklahoma Attorney General. And within two days, I got a response that they forwarded the letter. Um, great. They responded back, Dollar General did, and they apologized and they said, we'll have a gift card for you. I said, okay, well, let me just ask, how much is it for? $10. <laughs> Tell her to keep it. I don't want it. It was insulting. Right. Lori's story was brought to attorney Mark Dan, where it became the basis for one of three class action lawsuits in Oklahoma, New York, and New Jersey. I don't think there's any question that Dollar General is doing this intentionally and systematically. Okay. June 22nd, I was overcharged four items out of 11. $7.95 was advertised 650. If you tell me one thing mm -hmm. and then charge me something else, um, you know, in, in almost every jurisdiction in America, that would be theft by deception. Right. Corporations, as we now know from the U.S. Supreme Court, are, are people. People. people need to follow the law. Mm -hmm. Dollar General's deceptive business practices <laughs> run deeper than most realize, according okay. to Stacey Mitchell, a researcher at the Institute for Local Self-Reliance. I think what they're looking for is places that have been, that, that lack, you know, economic and political power, places that they can push around. Okay. They're often building in such numbers that it becomes impossible for a new grocery store or other locally owned businesses to develop in a neighborhood that really needs them. They kind of lock in poverty as they grow because poverty is the thing that really fuels these companies' mm -hmm. uh, bottom lines. And guys, remember I said earlier, if you are a real estate investor, if you invest in real estate, there is literally a dollar general factor you guys need to be looking at. All right. Um, that's a serious factor. So we have the poorest people in the country going to a store that's deceiving them about the price that they're charging for the goods. That's crazy. Um, in, in a situation where they have very few other realistic choices, I think it's about as exploitive a business plan uh, as I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Sounds Almost like every county in America and every state has a, a system for uh, making sure that people who uh, run cash registers do so honestly. Price verification is when we see that a product is listed for $2.99, take it up to the register, scan it, make sure it's ringing up as $2.99. Uh, we do a random sample of products that we pull. We're used to seeing one or two failures, getting it corrected uh, and, and feeling confident. Unfortunately, in Dollar General's case, it, it was uh, large and continuous. The scale or the concern was mm. over 80% of the stores that we checked were failing and were failing repetitively and really no acknowledgement or desire to correct that failure. Okay, yeah, guys, it sounds like they're doing this on purpose for real. Initially, I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because, again, right, um, corporations are people. Right? I was trying to give them the absolute benefit of the doubt, but yeah, nah, bro, not anymore. All right, Dollar General. Despite being cited repeatedly, Dollar General neglected to correct the problem, prompting the Ohio Attorney General to file litigation against the store. One unique component in our conversation was the recognition of how Dollar General staffs or short staffs staff were receiving no guidance uh, and so were I was just pointing out. keeping the place open as best they could. Right. Not really necessarily aware of the price verification challenge duty and responsibility under Ohio law and then opportunities to correct it. If you have designed a business, yeah, guys, that's what I figured. business where you are deliberately understaffing your stores, you're deliberately cutting costs, um, you're going to end up having these kinds of, you know, uh, widespread mistakes in pricing. I mean, that's just the reality of you are not actually providing enough labor right. to comply with the law and make sure that people are, are getting uh, charged what what the price actually is. They have decided that they can make more profit by violating people. all of these laws, by understaffing, by mm -hmm. cutting corners. And right now, the fines that are associated with doing that are simply a cost of doing business. They are too low to make a difference and to stop this organization from behaving this way. Dollar General has been fined over $20 million by states and the federal government since 2017. Bro. But those fines, which pale in comparison to the amount Dollar General has siphoned from communities, have done little to change the company's behavior. There are 19,000 stores. There are literally millions of transactions a day, uh, millions of items sold a day in Dollar General stores. 
And even if at 10% of the time they're stealing 10 cents on 10% of the yeah, items that are sold, uh, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars going into the pockets of, of Dollar General shareholders and out of the pockets of the poorest people in America. If you're a systematic violator of laws as a company, uh, what's the deeper way that we can go after you? At some point, you've got to be shut down if you can't reform your behavior. Um, because clearly this, this one-off approach that we're using is not working. And I think that it's time for, uh, for Dollar General to pay the price civilly, uh, to pay the customers for what they've stolen from them, to change their business practices for how they go forward in the future. And I don't think it's, it's far-fetched at all to think that the corporate executives um, who, who hatched this scheme uh, ought to be prosecuted. They can build this little metal building in a week, maybe two max, and everybody's getting ripped off every day. It's only a quarter here. It's a dime here. It's 35 cents here. Who has the time to go and write a letter and complain over You're right. a quarter? You're right. And that's why they're targeting specifically these communities. Well, I do. Okay. All right. Guys, listen, this, you know, I haven't been to Dollar General that many times, right? But um, every time I have seen it, it's literally been in some ra random rural area. Generally, when I'm like going on like some off-road trip uh, in some extremely rural environment, I start seeing all these Dollar Generals. Um, but if they are in fact just taking money from their from their their customers, and specifically some of the the most rural, at times impoverished areas because that's a little disgusting and it makes me want to make sure if i do go to this place i i don't know photograph everything <laughs> it's right like what how do we prevent this because we definitely do not know what's in the computer obviously we're picking up things on the shelf because it says oh this is a really good deal for this but in fact we bring it up there and it's not a really good deal because it's a wrong price and it's purposely done because they specifically understaff right um, for the sole purpose of making more profit, obviously, I looked at how much their their stock price is, 150 a share, guys, um, and it seems to be down 2.31 percent today. I wonder if this video had anything to do with the fact that their stock price is um, absolutely plummeting. No, well, not plummeting, but uh, similar to Walmart. Also, Walmart and Dollar General and Dollar Tree are all down today, guys. All right. But all right, listen, let me know in the comments the next thing I should be checking out. Guys, what do you guys think? Uh, how do you how do we prevent uh, companies like this from just being completely predatory on um, some of the poorest groups in the United States of America? How do we stop that? Do we stop going to these uh, entities? Or do we just make sure that the receipts are correct at all times? And something tells me it's not just Dollar General that does that. If they're doing it, most likely everyone is doing it, specifically in these crazy times of, I don't know, going to buy gas, you pumping it yourself, and then them asking you for a tip. You know, weird, weird times we're in, guys, right? Uh, but I listen, you guys uh, all enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd, along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.